The Big Ten title game, Michigan 42, Iowa 3. We obviously don't have to spend long on this one. Numbers here. Michigan won yardage at 461 to 279. They won yards per play, 7.4 to 3.9. They won thirds downs, uh, 40 to 26%. Drive points, 28 to 3. And rushing, 211 to 104. Um, Iowa won turnovers. Not shocking. Um, but I was just about to say, Iowa yeah. needed to score on turnovers, and that's and they what, couldn't do it. That's what Michigan did that was best, which is when they turned the ball over, which we all knew they would, you got to tackle those guys. You can't let them score because their offense ain't beating you. Yes. And they did it. Now you're 100% right. Because this uh, game was I mean, tight for a while. This oh, game it was, was, yeah, it was 14 was to 3. Tight. It was 14 to 3 at the half. And then it was only 21 to 3 oh, at the end of the I was third quarter. Say, going, into the, but, going into the fourth quarter, it was, it was tight. Yeah, it was it, it, as tight as 21 got, to 3 can be. But this was exactly what well, we said it, it was. Ugly. Right? We, we said, uh, or I, I don't remember if you agreed with me or not, but this was Iowa is a poor man's Michigan. Right, it, yes. these the matchup Michigan does Iowa yeah. does substan- like probably thirty percent less. Well, offensively, I think they're about eighty percent less. Yeah. Oh, big time. This is. Hang on. At what point do we look at Ferentz and say your son doesn't get to coach the offense anymore? Because this is bad. This is real bad. It's. I don't. Now, know. I do think that would be the thing that would make him want to just retire. Yeah, yeah probably if so. You, if you told him he had to fire his son. He would just he would just retire. He but found a way again to win ten ball games with 10. that offense. That defense is really good, and it's a shame for those defensive players to have to play like that. Yes, yes, I don't like. Get I'm going to tell you this: like I, I, I believe in the one team, one heartbeat philosophy. But man, I have watched some games this year in college and in the pros where if I was a defensive player, I'd be getting some ass in those locker rooms with some of those offensive guys. Oh yeah, I mean we're out here killing ourselves making hellacious plays, Herculean effort to get you the ball back, and you just give it away to the other team like it's nothing constantly. Oh, it would it would drive me insane. Oh, drive me I, insane. I, I, have, I have learned this year, the older I've gotten, the less of a team player I am. And if I'm doing my job and you're making my job 100 times worse, somebody's going through a window. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.